pets are not limited to dogs, cats, parrots, and hamsters. In the houses of the people from today's episode, there are more interesting and a bunch more dangerous animals. From powerful crocodiles and tigers to hippos, rhinos, and pythons, it's worth seeing. In this episode, I'll show you the most dangerous pets in the world. And Doot. Children often find common language with pets. They're comfortable with both cats and dogs, but a crocodile? That's something new. At least for it to live in the same house with a child. But in this case, everyone's happy. The crocodile's name is Endut, and he lives in Indonesia with the Maharani family. Endut is best friends with a girl named Rani. In the footage you're looking at, she's only three years old. Many parents wouldn't let such a little girl anywhere near a dangerous predator, but Ronnie's parents trust Endut completely. They're sure he won't hurt her, and this is even despite the fact that Ronnie doesn't treat him in the best way. No, she doesn't bully the crocodile, but because of her very young age, she can, for example, drag it by the tail as some kind of toy. A wild predator wouldn't tolerate such a thing and would have dealt with the offender long ago, but Endut seems to understand everything. Like many classical pets, he realizes that Ronnie is still small, so it's wrong to attack her. In fact, Endut himself considers Ronnie his best friend. He's always with her and spends time with her. For example, lying next to her when she's playing and even visiting the bathroom with her. Speaking of the bathroom, do you see what else is in there? Yes, that's a python. The Maharani family is fond of exotics, so in addition to the crocodile, they have three pythons, a monkey, and a parrot. Okay, even though Endut is a real crocodile, he's not very big. He can definitely do some damage, but it's not for sure that his strength is enough to kill a human. But this cannot be said about Kojek, another dangerous pet. What's interesting is that he's also from Indonesia. It's also a crocodile, only he's much larger. His length is about 10 feet, and his weight's about 440 pounds. This is a saltwater crocodile, a species that's considered the most dangerous among all crocodiles on the planet. Nevertheless, a man named Irwan is not afraid of him because Kojak lived with him from an early age and never had time to become a full-fledged predator. Irwan saved him about 25 years ago, brought him home, nursed him, and was about to let him go into the wild but suddenly realized that the crocodiles already managed to win his heart. In the house of the Indonesian, the saltwater crocodile had his own place, something like a mini pond where he often spent time. Kojek came out of the water to eat. Every day, he ate several kilograms of fish. Irwan took care of Kojek, feeding him and cleaning the reptile regularly. Everything was fine until the local authorities forbade the man from keeping the crocodile at home, as he's a protected species of fauna. Kojek was taken to a safari park where he lives to this day. Saber and Janda Many people love cats and get cats as big as possible. Janice Haley from Florida did just that, only she got some really big cats. She has two Bengal tigers living on her property. The first is a male named Saber. This amazing white tiger weighs 595 pounds and is ready to stand up for his beloved Janice at any moment. If anything, he'll be supported by Janda, a female tiger weighing 397 pounds. They behave like ordinary domestic cats, only enlarged 10 times. Saber and Janda love to play, run, ambush, and of course, sleep a lot. Like domestic cats, Saber and Janda can bite, but they are fully aware of their size, so they bite not at full strength, but very carefully, playfully. They don't even hurt strangers, let alone Janice, who cares for them very much. Couldn't be otherwise. The big cats have lived with Janice for many years, perceiving her as their mother, and she in turn treats them as her children. In general, large wild cats often become pets of different people. Another such exotic pet is Messi, a cougar who is named for the famous soccer player. Surely, many of you have heard about this pet because he's a real celebrity. Alexander and Maria Dmitriev bought the cougar in 2016 when the predator was only a year old. They had to refurbish their apartment so that the cougar could feel cozy there. For example, the door posts were turned into massive scratching posts and the walls were covered with bamboo. Of course, a cougar is not as dangerous as a tiger, but it's still a wild predator that can hurt people badly. Messi, however, is a unique case. He was raised in captivity. His size is smaller than that of an average wild cougar, and the predator itself has a number of health problems, so he's not as dangerous. And yet the instincts that sit deep inside may kick in sooner or later. 
but so far, everything's good. The owners constantly play with the cougar, walk it on a leash in city parks, bathe it in the bathtub, and even take it on vacation with them because they can't leave it alone for long. Chamryun Today, you've already seen how a dangerous crocodile and a child can coexist in the same house. But what about another dangerous reptile, the python? There are cases like this, too. A few years ago, the world was shocked to hear the story of the Sambath family from Cambodia. One day, a huge 16-foot python crawled into their house. The owner of the house didn't kill it, but dragged it to the jungle and left it there. But the next day, the python came to visit again. Then it happened again. And after the third time, they decided to keep the python. He was given the name Chamryon. The python quickly became friends with Orn Sumbath, the son of the owner of the house, who was only three years old at the time. They began to spend a lot of time together. Orn crawled on the python, slept on him, tried to drag him by the tail, and Chamryon, in turn, didn't hurt the boy and let him do literally everything with him. Although pythons are not venomous, they are incredibly strong. They can easily crush even a crocodile with their powerful rings and weight, let alone a three-year-old boy. However, nothing like that ever happened. Nevertheless, one day, something happened. After a few years of being in the family, Chamryun bit the now slightly older Orn. The parents thought it was a red flag and decided not to risk it. The python was given to a zoo. Jessica Snakes are certainly exotic pets, but they cannot be called unique. Many people keep various snakes in their homes. But Jessica's case is definitely unique because she's a pet hippo. I think there are only a couple of similar cases in the world when a hippo turned into a pet. These animals, although herbivorous, are extremely dangerous, territorial, and aggressive. They don't like to share land and water with anyone other than other hippos. But Jessica has been living with Tony and Shirley Jubert from South Africa for a long time. All because she was taken in very early, when she was only a few hours old. Jessica's mother passed away and the Jubert family decided to nurse and raise the hippo on their own. They gave her a whole pond and a lot of space in front of their house. But Jessica doesn't limit herself to that. She often goes into the house itself, where she begs for some goodies. She's also made friends with the Jubert's dog, whom she doesn't hurt. Jessica does not offend and hurt anyone at all. Because she grew up in captivity and among humans, she's alien to many of the habits of wild hippos. Nevertheless, the Jubert family is still cautious. They never know what Jessica might have in her head. Rhinos It turns out that not only hippos can be pets, but also rhinos. And if in the case of Tony and Shirley Jubert, it was only about one dangerous giant animal, in this case, there are many rhinos. All of them consider a girl named Jamie Trainor as their owner. They're not really her pets. Jamie has rather taken the rhinos under her care. She replaced their mom to the rhinos, which were orphaned as a result of the actions of poachers in South Africa. When they were still babies, they were taken to a South African rhino orphanage where they met Jamie. It was a case when they got along immediately. The rhinos immediately accepted Jamie into their herd and began to consider her one of them. And Jamie fell in love with these amazing giants. The rhinos treat Jamie very well. Although the girl herself notes that she still has to be careful because the rhinos can accidentally crush her. And let's finish with some more unusual domestic cats. This time it's cheetahs. Cheetahs are considered the most harmless of all big cats. Despite their incredible speed and predatory instincts, they're considered safe for humans. But Shahad al-Jaber still risks because these animals are wild, after all. The Kuwaiti girl has two cheetahs living in her home. Often they spend time in their basement, but every day Shahad lets them out so they walk around the house and spend time with her. The curious big cats enjoy watching TV, lying on the bed or couch with Shahad, and just spending time in the company of their owner. As Shahad herself says, cheetahs are not as dangerous as one might think. According to her, they're just like ordinary domestic cats. That's all, guys. What exotic pet would you like to have? Let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching, and see you later.